people, welcome back to the channel. This, as always, is the 101. And welcome to what is going to be a brand new episode of a brand new season of five things you might not know. This time, of course, it being the 2K18 edition. So if you're new to the series, then the name pretty much covers it. This is things you simply might not know about this year's game. With that said, and the intro out of the way, let's get straight into it. This one, of course, episode number one of five things you might not know about WWE 2K18. So here we go, let's kick this one off with a nice and simple one. We have gotten some potentially lesser known bonus manager attires. Now, of course, as we do know, the game, as always, does feature several exclusive managers that can complete their own manager attires. However, what you might not know is that there is also superstars on the roster that also come complete with a manager attire. Leads include Triple H, whose manager attire returns from last year, as does this modern day version of the Nature Boy Ric Flair. In addition to a brand new one for 2K18, which sees this version of Shane McMahon. To get the attire, simply select your chosen superstar in the manager slot, and the manager attire will then be available. Now, as any fans of Ric Flair will know, in terms of 2K18, he has got two retro versions available. But aside from the manager attire as just featured, there is no modern day version of Ric Flair available as a playable superstar. That, however, can be changed because what some might not know is that you can indeed have a modern day Ric Flair as a playable superstar on 2K18. For this one, all you've got to do is go to Edit Superstar, select this version of Ric Flair. Select the manager attire, switch the attire type to a superstar attire, and then give Flair some wrestling gear. Once that's done, head towards the superstar select screen, select Ric Flair, and as you can now see, you do indeed have the modern day Ric Flair available as a playable superstar. Next up with thing number 3 today, we have got a small yet very awesome feature of certain superstars having the ability to pull down their attire straps. Now we have covered this one in a separate video, but in terms of the series, I thought we'd feature it again, because for those that still might not know, this is indeed a thing. This is available for certain select superstars, including the modern day version of The Undertaker, Big E, Jason Jordan, as well as both versions of the legendary Kurt Angle. This one is simply done by pressing R1 on the PS4 or RB on the Xbox, as well as down on the D-pad at any time during the match, which will result in seeing one of these very awesome animations. With thing number 4 today, another thing that we covered in a standalone video, but again a thing that I want to feature in this series, which is the ability to remove certain superstar face paints. Now as you probably know in previous years there has been some pretty big limitations when it comes to face paints, but the good news is that this year that is no longer the case, as this year pretty much all face paint can be edited, with some even having the ability of a transparency option which when lowered to zero, essentially removes your superstar's face paint. Superstars this works with include both Connor and Victor of the Ascension, in addition to Finn Balor, which when removing only certain sections of face paint, can actually have some pretty interesting results. However, last up today with our fifth and final inclusion, a fun one, we have got some extra backstage brawl moments. So as we know, this year 2K have added the brand new semi trailer finishers, which can be selected in the movesets once you have the skill equipped. Now obviously, as stated, these are finishers you do when on top of the trailer in the backstage brawl area, but a thing that you might not know 
is that this is not the only vehicle these finishers work off. That is right, these finishers not only work off the big truck in the back, but despite not actually saying so, they also work off the limo. Now, whilst lack of drop doesn't make these quite as impactful, well, this could still be a handy thing to know, especially when you're looking to create some fun backstage ball moments in the backstage areas. And with that one, that brings an end to this first episode, which kicks off this brand new season. So, if you've enjoyed today's episode, then as always, a like rating would be awesome to see. Also, if you know anything that you think should be featured in this series, then let me know in the comments. But that is it for this one, so expect more like this coming to the channel very, very soon. And with that said, until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.